Hi everyone, I'm Mario and welcome to Code on Fire. This is the second tutorial in our Unreal Engine AI series, where we'll see how to make our NPC jump and generally cross broken parts of the nav mesh that we created in the first tutorial. I recommend watching the first tutorial where we created the NPC that can currently only follow our cart. You can find the link to the first tutorial in the description. Before we proceed, let's go to the AI controller, uh, AI NPC that we created and make a small change. We replace the event begin play node that precedes the run behavior tree function with the event on possess node. Why use event on possess? Because this node is triggered when the AI takes control, uh, control of the NPC, not when the game starts like event begin play. This node requires a delay, a delay and then just 0.2 seconds will do uh, before it can uh, trigger the subsequent functions. Always remember that a delay is generally useful uh, whenever a rapid execution uh, can cause malfunctions due to some resources not being fully uh, loaded before the code is executed. Now let's go into the behavior tree and add another task in the sequence the wait task and place it like this. Uh, the behavior tree activates the various uh, tasks in order from top to bottom and from right to left. Therefore, positioning the tasks uh, uh, this way, uh, the NPC will move toward our character and then, before following again, uh, wait for a time that we can set to 2 seconds by entering this value here. Let's go back to the game scene, press the P key to make the area where the NPC can move uh, visible, which uh, uh, is the area inside the nav mesh, the green area. Now, in this part, let's look for the nav modifier, bring it uh, into the game scene and scale it. As you can see, by default, this uh, resource uh, creates uh, a break in the nav mesh. For now, uh, we are interested in uh, this aspect and we'll look at uh, other functionalities of the nav modifier later. When we hit play, uh, we can easily see that uh, the NPC can't cross the broken part uh, of the nav mesh. Now, let's see which uh, resorts can, uh, uh, we can use to connect the two broken parts of the nav mesh. Go to content right click blueprint and search for a nav link then select it rename the resource um, nl underscore npc and bring it into the game uh, into the scene as you can see we have uh, these two elements left and right by positioning these two elements this way we create a link in the broken part of a nav mesh that the NPC can cross. This is uh, uh, the resource we'll uh, use for this purpose. It's uh, worth noting uh, that uh, in a real engine 5.5, uh, a feature uh, was added that uh, automatically creates links uh, between disconnected parts of a mesh. We'll not cover this feature in uh, this series, but in uh, all another tutorial. For uh, this series, we'll use uh, resources uh, that uh, can be applied in uh, production, while the automatic link generation in a real engine 5.5 is still experimental. Also, using one resource doesn't exclude uh, the other. We might uh, want uh, uh, the NPC to cross nav mesh uh, breaks uh, only at specific points, in which case we'll use the nav link to achieve that. If uh, uh, the NPC needs to move uh, uh, freely and cross uh, all interruptions, we can use the new automatic navigation link generation. 
Let's go back to the game scene. When positioning the nav link, make sure to place the blueprint reference in the center of the break uh, to avoid map functions. Now let's place another nav link uh, here and set it up like this, allowing the NPC to descend from this height despite the break. In the details window, we can see that the connection can be made from uh, left to right and uh, from right to left with reference to the right and left elements of the results, or in both directions. Choose this option uh, for both links, hit play, and as we can see, the NPC will be able to cross the nav mesh break at the point where we placed the nav link. If we move to this part and jump down, the NPC will follow us and jump thanks to the nav link we placed here. Now let's place the nav link in this other part, hit play, jump and let the NPC follow you. As we can see, despite the connection, the NPC can't jump and reach us. To make the NPC jump following the created link, um, we need to take a few more steps. Delete this link, go to content, duplicate nl underscore npc and rename it to nl underscore jump underscore npc. Bring it into the scene and position it correctly. In the details window, click on copy endpoints from simple link to smart link and check smart link is relevant. As we can see, the light green arrow aligns with the dark green arrow. Set link direction to both ways. Now open the blueprint with a double click and go to uh, the event graph. Uh, to insert the code that will allow the NPC to jump. Search for event receive smart link reached and connect it to a cast node, cast to character node. Linking the agent uh, to the object of the cast to, hover over as character and click promote to variable. Connect the set of the variable to uh, suggest projectile velocity custom arc and uh, pull a link from this pin to search for uh, get actor location, which will uh, uh, then connect to the start position, while the end position connects uh, to um, the pin destination of the event node. Pull another link and search for launch character. Uncheck context sensitive. In the target, connect the previously created as character variable from out launch velocity, pull a link to a, a multiply node, change this value to float and enter a value of 2. Finally, connect the multiply to launch velocity of uh, launch, launch character, checking override x, y and z, compile and save. This way, the NPC will be able to jump. Go back to the scene, hit play, and this time the NPC will jump to reach us. That's it. Don't miss the next tutorials in uh, this series and visit the channel to see many useful uh, resources. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel.